really you're moving into a good spot here. So That's like right. all wrestling fans know the historic night when you and Rocky Johnson won the won the tag belts, right? Right. Many people that watch this show also know that the spot was originally meant for SD Jones mm. and you know, you had some problems and mm. it kind of caused SD a spot. But from knowing you, you and SD are pretty close. Can you explain to the fans what kind of man SD Jones was? Underrated. Un in, in a real fight. In a real fight. Okay. SD Jones probably could whoop everybody up. <laughs> I used to go to the gym with <laughs> SD Jones, and SD, what was so strange about it, he could incline press more than he could bench press. Wow. I now that's impressive. Do that. That's impressive. He's he could he could take four hundred and five pounds really? and do it ten times on the incline. Wow. We used to do curls, me and SD. Yes, they used to take two hundred and twenty-five pounds and curl it. Mm. I was squatting six hundred. SD squatted six hundred. You my training partner. Damn. Was SD a true friend? SD was definitely a true friend. So there are friends in wrestling, then. There are friends in wrestling. I tell you a story. I tell you. I tell you a story about SD. When Vince first kicked me out of wrestling, I went to. to I, I, I called Vern Gagne out in AWA. He said, yeah, I, I would love to have you in, Tony, but it's going to be a month before I bring you in. So I checked into the Ramada Inn on, on, on 49th and 8th Street. SD told his wife where I was at, his wife Kate, and I talked to her quite frequently. Kate said, tell Tony to come here and stay. I don't want him, he ain't going to have no money left. He paid five, six hundred dollars a week at that hotel. Mm. He could come here and stay. Mm. So as he came and started packing my bag, I said, "What are you doing?" He said, "Kate wants you at the house. Kate wants you at the house. We gotta go. Gotta go to the house. Kate, gotta go to the house." There it is. <laughs> Kate wants you. Kate wants you. Yeah, that's what, what SD. <laughs> and uh, so he started like, packing bag. <laughs> so I slept in his um, in his son's room. His name was Jermaine. So they gave me his son's room to sleep in. Well, I didn't just lay around. I mean, I did yard work. I helped Kate around the house. One day, SD came home. He said, I think I've lost my job. I said, why is that, SD? He said, Vince Jr. told me this. If I don't get Tony Atlas out of my house, he's going to fire me. What? Why? And I said, what you tell uh, uh, Vince? He said, I, he, said, I, he said, Tony, my friend, I can't do that to my friend. Mm. So I said, no, SD, I don't want you to lose your job for me. I said, I go back to the hotel. And then, uh, uh, luckily for me, SD, cousin, they call him Bigfoot. Because SD, like, size 15. Straight, straight, straight to the top. We're living this life, not just dreaming it, we're doing it for real. 